what's going on guys welcome to the mustard seed episode 30 um let's talk about forgiveness and there's a couple of parables that jesus like talks about he explains to his disciples that is uh very empowering and just makes you think so i'm gonna tell the story um jesus tells a story to his disciples about a king and how he was uh, sitting on his throne collecting his debt from his servants and it's going it's going he's getting his money and it comes to this one guy he doesn't have the money to pay back and the king's like sell him sell his children sell his wife sell his home that will pay off his debt this guy pleads he's like please god please i'm please king please king don't um don't do that the king has mercy on him and forgives his debt, scratches it. This guy leaves there after getting his debt forgiven for a large amount of money and goes to a fellow servant and knocks on the door. He's like, hey, you owe me $2,000. Servant's like, it says the same thing. Like, please have mercy. I'm like, I'll get it to you. Trust me. He says, no, guards, this guy owes me money. Gets him locked up. Other servants see that. They get annoyed. Tell the king. King calls in the servant and says after I had mercy on you how dare you yeah throw this guy in jail and he throws him in jail and the way the story started was Peter uh, talked to Jesus saying like how many times do I have to uh, forgive someone seven times and, yes. and Jesus says like 70 whatever times Time a million seven, seven. And yes and that. exactly yeah. so it's really a story of like almost like twofold like mm -hmm. forgive others always have forgiveness show mercy to everyone and and then the other side of it is like treat others how you want to be treated and here is a servant who has just been forgiven and then we go he goes off and doesn't mm -hmm. treat someone how he had just been treated and connect to that in like a lot of ways where when we talk about um, we were talking about Exodus in one of our episodes and how the uh, people of Israel who were just saved from slavery mm. are now complaining that God won't provide. Yeah. And it's kind of similar in a way of like, God gives so many graces to us. He shows mercy to us for all of our sins. So it's only right for us to forgive others like he has forgiven. And it's a challenge for us, no doubt. I mean, how many times do I think about like the things that I have done and I can't even give anyone some sort of similar you know forgiveness in a sense but that's the challenge that we we're asked to and it's saying how can i live my life in a way that god has treated me and that's something that like not easy to do but something that we want to do each and every day yeah and at the end of it jesus tells them too like that the way this story just was told is how you will be judged by god oh yes exactly that's right and like when we think about you know that ultimate day of judgment and to think about like well what have we done where we have treated others like Jesus is treated yeah did you hold a stupid grudge it doesn't mean anything yeah and it's just it's very empowering like of how like even if someone does so so much wrong to you or owes you money and owes you whatever uh, just like to try to turn the other cheek and just forgive them because that is what your Lord wants you to do and it's just very eye-opening of like go even going back to um uh don't worry episode of just like that like you need to look at life like that sure and the connections again always the connections yeah. but it's <laughs> it's putting others in in front of you you know and obviously that servant who was just forgiven then walked out and and went right after someone and selflessly else. said you know well you owe me something but to put others in, fr in front of you and to say, okay, you know, this person might be going through something like, I'm going to let them be more important than me in this moment. And, and that's like what we are called to do each and every day. And that truly to think about like treat others how you would like to be treated. And that's something I think we've heard throughout our whole lives, like as we've mm -hmm. grown up. And, and here's Jesus telling it to us in a, in a fun story, in a cool way. It, it shows like what, how snakeish this guy was like he kind of 
Like, did he mean his forgive? Like, when he was asking for forgiveness sure. from the king, mm-hmm. like, please, please, or was he just talking out of his butt to get you out? You know, of it. just yeah. to get out of it. Because then immediately his mind goes to, oh, this dude owes me this amount, and I'm gonna go get it, of and I don't gotta pay this guy back, so I'm gonna make a profit. You know, like it's kind of just like it shows like the personality of people and like that is what Jesus is trying to show you like don't be like that be like the king who is forgiving don't be like the servant like you think the story is kind of about it's it's kind of about the servant like it shows you what not to do but then it shows you like what you know God is going to do and for, for us and the just like forgiving you for something that you think may be horrible and then he's you know forgiving you wiping you of all sins and then you go around immediately and slap them in the face you know it's it's you got to look at things from a different perspective and just like just be better and what is like the root of our faith the beginning the roots of our faith are you know god so loved the world that he sent his only son Mm -hmm. and that son died for us on the cross to forgive us of our sins and show us eternal life so it's like the same thing. Like we're the servant going to the king, and of course we have sins. We all have mistake. We've all made mistakes. We all have things that we've done that you know we shouldn't have done, and we bring those to God, and God says, "I forgive you." Like the things that you have done are forgiven. You're absolved, and that's the beauty of our faith. And that's I think one of the best parts of our faith is that we can continue to strive to be better. Mm-hmm. And then the flip side of that is knowing that we have a God who loves us and forgives us we should then try our best to embrace that and to live our lives in that way because it's this ultimate you know message of our faith is going to teach us then how to live so then if we are forgiven we should a hundred percent be forgiving everyone that's around us in our lives because that will ultimately then get us into heaven when we get to sit down in front of god and he says you know what have you done for me Mm. it's like i've forgiven like you have and it's not the easiest thing to do, of course, because I, I can relate to that guy who, who walks over to someone and says, well, you owe me this, you know? It's not easy to just say, you're okay. But if we're asking God to forgive us, then we should then try our best to embrace forgiving others as well. And it's the mercy of God that makes him so powerful and makes our faith so amazing. Yep, great story. Uh, let's end in a little prayer. And Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, we ask that we have your forgiveness in heart and that we can forgive the way you do. We ask that you give us the strength to forgive and you, you keep us on that path, that righteous path that we so desperately want to be on. Um, Lord, we thank you for the story. We thank you for our, the eye openers. And uh, thank you for continuing to give us a week to week basis just to discuss amen amen father son the holy spirit amen um please like comment subscribe we're getting close to uh christmas time time. we're in advent yeah we're in advent hope you're uh lighting your candles (laughs) saying your prayers and uh we're preparing for the coming of jesus yeah this is a cool time i always enjoy advent this year i really tried to like prepare myself not just for Advent is always a preparation, right? You think of Advent as preparing for the coming of Jesus. And I was really trying my best to prepare myself for Advent to prepare myself for Jesus. Yeah. I hope that's the only way we can continue to, to yeah. prepare ourselves. This year is a little more special, too, because, like, Logan's more understanding. So, like, as we light the candles each week, we're trying to explain to him, oh, we're getting closer and closer. And um, he's understanding more. So it's very special. It's a fun time. Yeah. So enjoy Thank you for tuning in, yeah? Peace.